message posted to Twitter. <clears throat> Good morning, people. It's uh, Occupy News Network here. If you want to know more about us, just please go to occupynewsnetwork.co.uk and also, yeah, follow us on Twitter. Twitter, Occupy NN. Just wanted to uh, give you an update today. It's uh, Saturday, 20. Uh, what is the date? 27th of April. Yes, yeah, Saturday. So you can see some of uh, <laughs> the usual culprits. Newspapers. The Sun is about uh, Clifford on 11 sex assault charges. Gas attack is a war crime. Cameron condemns uh, serious uh, chemical weapons. One, two, three. Uh, so three papers. Sun. Star and Daily Mirror talking about uh, talking about um, Max Clifford. So they've actually managed to regurgitate an old story. Hmm. Times about gas attack. Yeah. Hmm. Miliband says uh, he, they want to give tax breaks to uh, companies that offer the living wage. You've got to be kidding me. Did I tell you about private school measles, measles alert? And the Daily Mail is about uh, burned to death in police taser fireball. And yeah, Max Clifford charged with 11 sexual sex assaults. Dell Express is migrants to get more benefits. And the Times decided to, uh, and the Daily Express decided to feature Kate with the wand so more than likely you're not going to uh, see anything about um, there's a couple of demos that I'm well there's about three there's about the uh, Ealing NHS um, they're trying to stop it from being shut down uh, the London renters are also uh, giving a bit of starting their uh, campaign of uh, complaining about high rents in London remember it's actually the, uh, I think it was 1989 uh, during Thatcher's era that uh, they got rid of rent control in uh, in London so now it's actually it's, it's getting to the point where people have to pay 60% of their um, income into paying for their rent and of course there's no way they'll be able to afford buying their own place or getting a mortgage or getting into, into a council because of the fact that um, she did sell off about two million of uh, council houses to the private sector, one third of them are now in the hands of uh, private landlords. So it's actually ridiculous. And um, I'm not going to hold out any hope that the NHS march in Ealing is going to reach the Sunday papers. That's unlikely to happen. But I'm hoping I'll be coming here tomorrow and then I'll be uh, taking a photo of it as well. So hopefully you can actually uh, join me later on. Uh, so uh, the London renters is going to be at about um, 12 midday today in Isling Islington Green and later on I'm going to uh, go to Grey's Inn for yeah I think this, um, it's uh, nuclear-free Japan they're going to be talking about Fukushima and Chernobyl at about 2 o'clock this afternoon 1400 hours in Grey's Inn so hopefully I can live stream that one as well so in any case, watch out for my live stream, and also the case, uh, watch out to um, live stream from other people as well. It's bambooza.com. Just go to the Occupy broadcasts, and you will find them. More than likely, Prismid is going to be streaming today uh, with the London renters. I'll see about uh, the other stuff, and I'll upload this to YouTube. So tomorrow, I'll uh, take another photo. <laughs> so anyway, thank you. Peace out, and see you later. Newspapers.